What's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel today. We missed you guys yesterday and the reason being is because we have been go, go, go it feels like for like the last three weeks and so we had to take some time off just for ourselves, relax a little bit, recoup. And one of the things that I was hoping to get around to yesterday that I did not do is getting my hair cut. I desperately need it. My hair is an absolute mess. And so I'm actually here right now. I just go to Sport Clips. It's really close by. I cannot wait to have it done. It really, really needs a fresh cut. It's pretty bad and how long and messy it is right now and just like that we're back baby wow i think it looks good it's been a while since i've had hair that looks this good not too shabby she did a good job and i really like this line right here i'm actually really excited to go back home and surprise britney with this because uh, i think she's gonna like it a lot guys I just got back and I was gonna surprise Brittany but she is actually out right now running some errands so I am not able to surprise her quite yet but I do have to point something out real quick the air right now like the air quality is like super poor I didn't know what it was at first but then after researching it I found out it is the Canadian fires that have basically have made their way down to Florida which is just crazy to think about because Florida is so far away from Canada typically from our balcony you can see like the ocean you guys have seen that view several times before but I actually had the opportunity to take the drone up real quick just kind of get a little better for perspective of how bad the smoke is and it's crazy like you can't see the ocean like that well at all like usually like the skyline you know from our balcony you can see that pretty crisp and clear you can see buildings way off in the distance again that hazy smoke is kind of covering everything up it's just crazy like how much smoke has come down and it's just kind of poured its way down this way same thing with the intercoastal it's just like really just smoky and hazy out i actually did notice how hazy it was when i was driving the car and especially the fort lauderdale skyline is really beautiful to see and whatnot but when i took the drone up it is crazy how much smoke is just covering the city like to the point that it's like actually kind of hard to make out some parts of it I mean, you can really just see how much smoke is in the air and it's just baffling to me that all that smoke has poured its way down here from Canada. I mean, our hearts go out to the people in Canada right now. They're being affected by this and everyone else that's being affected by it just because I can't imagine what it's like up there if it looks like this all the way down here. We get a lot of rain here and we've gotten a lot of storms here lately. And so I just assumed it was kind of like rain off in the distance. But then again this morning, it kind of was just covering the entire sky. I looked over at Brittany and I was like, is this like misty out right now? Like, is this like rain everywhere? Like, why is it so hazy looking outside? So Brittany actually looked up on Mike's weather page. He kind of seems to be the go-to guy out here in Florida to find like the latest and greatest weather updates. And she found on there, it's essentially the smoke from the Canadian fires that's made its way all the way down here. I know Brittany's researched it a lot more. She'll have to tell you a little bit about it when she gets back. I know earlier she actually took Finn off to the groomers just because he's in need of a haircut. Okay, you know where we're at, huh? We're gonna go see our friend Jonathan. He's the best, huh? Next time you see this little guy, he's gonna be so handsome. Whoa. And we're only taking a little bit off just because we love that fluffy look of him. Hopefully that will be the case. You know, we always try to make sure that he is well combed and everything like that. That way he's not too matted or not matted at all. But we will see, um, I guess, when we go pick him up. <laughs> I just got Finn back and he looks so good. Oh my gosh. I think he just wants to play right now. Look at us, huh? The two boys got brand new haircuts. Can't wait to show mommy, huh? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, Finn, okay. <laughs> Two, my handsome boys. Two boys together. 
haircut. Two boys with the new haircut. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he always looks like a completely different dog after yeah. he gets. He went from teddy bear to our little lamb. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, you are so he didn't handsome. He's going actual though, as usual, so that's good. I know. Once he gets, yeah. I was feeling it, he's going to be a little curls. His yeah. curls are gone when he first gets back. It's like straight, so it's funny to see him all straight, but then the curls come after you get in the humidity, curls huh, for buddy? The curls, huh? Oh, oh baby, you look good. Thank you. Looks Thank you. really good. I like it, you know? Yeah, we two of us got some really good haircuts today, huh? That's kind of funny how they were on the same day. I know some of you guys actually live in South Florida and you're looking for a good groomer. Well, the guy we go to, Jonathan, he kicks butt. I know. He's still. the sweetest ever. He it's takes amazing. such good yeah. care of Finn. He is the best. <laughs> I love the little bandanas yeah. he puts on him each time. It's just like that special little touch, huh? Were you a good boy? <laughs> good boy Feels good to be back. My gosh, you guys. It's crazy just being back to the two of us. Just I'm the two exhausted. Of us. I don't know. I know you've talked <laughs> mostly in the video today. Yeah, it's been any meme. <laughs> probably sick of me. I'm so sorry. No, no, everyone loves Jared. It's probably been a nice break for me. But I just have to say, it does feel so nice to get back into our routines, get back to just regular life for a little bit because we have people here with us for three weeks three solid weeks and we had people with us incredible. and it was a blast oh absolutely so much fun yeah this yes, guy he can't just wants to be over that and but yeah we had so much fun as you guys may recall we had so much fun with my mom <laughs> we had an absolute blast to hang out with her for like 10 solid days and then after that we basically like hurry and turn around like the house two days later. yeah got ready for dan and shell they came out here we hung out with them for like five six days yes and yeah. so it's just been go go going and it's yeah. obviously it's so much fun but oh, it's, it's also kind of tiring at times if you guys so. miss any of those videos i'll link them all down below for you but man we had such a blast with them yes yeah, so it was exhausting <laughs> <laughs> so the last couple of days we have just been trying to like get back to things yeah. we are so behind on a lot of I stuff know. get caught up on life well one thing i just want to point out real quick our very first year here we were basically having like family visiting us like back to back to back every single week. I know. And the longest we ever went was like 15 days. I mean, you guys. So I don't know how we did that. I don't know. I know. I'm like, man, are we just for getting a solid old year. and not like yeah. have as much energy as we used to? It's so crazy. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about that today. I was just like, for a solid year we did that, and we could only even handle like three weeks. And it's kind of funny because now that it's getting cold in other parts of the country, yeah. that's when people are starting to oh, like, yeah. hey, can we come out? And which we love. Yeah. All coming guys, out like hey can we come visit? you guys know how much we love that but anyways i just want to be real that um like hey. i've not even gotten dressed today really i have like yeah. a stain i just really tried to wipe off of my <laughs> shirt right now <laughs> i was like oh bring a vlog i gotta uh, some i went to the gym earlier and just kind of called it good after that <laughs> I haven't really changed much I haven't showered i haven't even really been outside it's been at the groomer most of yeah. the day and i it's so crazy this smoky weather yes so I did just see a video, Mike's weather page was saying it's fires from Canada, but then I saw another video from someone posting that it was like sugar canes here that they're burning off as well. So I don't know. Yeah. Do you guys have any info on that, insight on that? But so I'm getting like two conflicting things. Stories. Yeah, stories. Yeah. Because I do say it's really interesting how if it's come from Canada, it's not really affecting other states. It's just like South yeah, Florida. That is weird. Well, it's a lot of Florida, but yeah. anyway, so we haven't really wanted to go outside too much because the air quality is great. Yeah. And, you know, that's not good. It can't yeah. start to breathe in, I would imagine. Yeah. But on the plus side, I am super happy and grateful that we had such phenomenal weather while our families were here. <laughs> because can you imagine this, like when they were here? That was yeah, it turned out literally the away. day Michelle and Daniel yeah. left. They really want a rainstorm. That morning it was like, woke up to this giant rainstorm which was really cool yeah. then it cleared up they got a little more time out at the pool and the yeah. sun and then it poured that night and then the next day it literally just rained all day yeah and now today it's all smoky like yeah. this so anyways Crazy. it did it worked out very nicely which i'm so happy about especially because when we when our families make the effort to come all the way out here yeah of course we want it to be so fun that's why i think we try and put a lot of like Pampering, it yeah. Into treats and snacks, and just we just want them to enjoy because they're choosing to come 
spend time with us. Yes. It's usually their vacation day, you know. Exactly. And it goes, um, money goes into it, and so. Yeah, exactly. So as much as we tease about wanting and having some free time right now, we actually generally do love it when family comes oh, out. Of course we do. We love <laughs> it's it. It's our love favorite. It. We've even had other people reaching out, so more yes. plans are in the works, you guys. But in the meantime, we need to get caught up on yes. things for us. We uh -huh. have fertility stuff coming yep. up, which is exciting. We have some big things kind of going on. We'll be sharing with you here yeah. soon. Things that have just been kind of in the background and the works that we really haven't wanted to yep. dive into too much. But now that things are calming down from the visitor front, I think we'll be able to start sharing some of that stuff, which is going to be exciting. We're pretty so excited. Get ready for that, <laughs> you guys. Also, let us know any other content you want to see. Yes. I am always shocked at how many messages we get after we share when someone's been here visiting yeah. questions about, okay, well, what do you recommend for this? What do you recommend for that? About coming to Florida? Because a lot of people come to Florida for vacation. Especially for a lot of because it's like a cruise yeah, port. Yeah, especially for cruises or, or other cruises things. So yeah. I'm sorry. I, I try and get back to messages. It doesn't happen all the time with everyone. Yeah. But leave some comments down below. We'll try and both go through the comments here. If yeah. there's any questions you have or videos you want filmed, anything like that, we'd be happy to kind of. Yeah. Over we've, those. we've even talked about like even doing like some more shorts of just kind of like going in more in depth with stuff like that. Yes, because yeah. we're right here and like we, we get tons so of questions on yeah. and it's awesome. Yeah. Obviously, we've been able to meet a lot of you when you come to Florida, which is really fun when and, that can happen. And too, a lot so. of you guys, when you do come here, you actually do take us up on our recommendations and do the stuff that we say. So hopefully they're okay. Hopefully, hopefully you're liking it. And today with cooking with Brit. We are cooking. Not homemade. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been a while since we've had something quick and easy to eat, it feels like. I know. <laughs> well, from the refrigerator, I should we say. Actually, I said this is going to be our last day of not, we're going to get back on track starting tomorrow with like. This is pretty healthy though. Uh, Ish. Ish. It's not Ish. like a whole food, like me making like the meat and veggies and everything. This is a whole. This is from our Costco. <laughs> <laughs> haul. A whole haul. haul. Oh, this should be done. These are the steamed dumplings, the chicken and vegetable. And we have had these. They're kind of like the Trader Joe's ones. And they are delicious. I gotta let it sit in here and steam, but they're like these mm. little dumplings. Yeah. Okay, I'll just open it so you guys can see. Okay, yeah. If I ruin my dumplings, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm just showing you guys look at what the, you're uh, gonna get. The calorie content on this thing. So look Ooh. at this. And they're all steamed and there's lots of juice inside of there. That looks nice. Yeah, so for one whole tray for six, 240 calories, seven grams of fat, hmm. 15 grams of protein. That's a lot. That's actually quite a bit for this little amount of food. 15 grams of protein? Mm -hmm. What's the carbies? Carbies? Yeah. 30 grams. Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's quite a bit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They're not yeah. that healthy. I would yeah. not call this a health food whatsoever. Yeah. But it's quick, it's easy, it's delicious, it's what we're doing tonight. So it's what's for dinner. What is that? It's it like is that's a commercial. What's for dinner? Oh, isn't what it is that? soup Campbell's? It's what's for dinner? I don't know, I think so. Oh, I, mean, I don't know, yeah. I don't think that's right. What you is guys, it? You guys don't yeah. know, what is that commercial for? What's for dinner? The day? <laughs> and then it has oh no. <laughs> she cut no. that open. She shook it. It's <laughs> it just everywhere. Yeah. It's one of those days. I told you I already wiped off my sweatshirt. It's one of those days. <laughs> you know, this is just how it goes sometimes. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> this is gonna be for dinner tonight, you know? <laughs> nice dinner. I am gonna look up, I do have some new recipes I wanna try and I've been waiting to cook them with you. Also, we ate out a lot. Obviously. Yes, Michelle I know. Daniel and Mom and Joe. So, gotta get back. we gotta get back into the swing of things, one of which eating healthier and going to the gym more consistently for one. Time. We, we did good going to the gym for the yeah. most part. We stayed on our mm -hmm. fitness workouts, yeah. but the eating part, that's where it was a little tricky. Yeah, we'll Let me show them inside okay. of one of these right. really quick. I know you guys probably want to see. Oh, it's hot. So look, <laughs> there's like your steamed like chicken and the little juice that comes out of there. They're really so good. good. Yeah. A little sauce right there. You can eat it with rice. It's like, I like them just like this. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and enjoy our <laughs> delicious homemade. Yeah. Dinner. Maybe kick back, watch a show. We can't really go out. I mean, the weather's I not know. the best. It kind of works out. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and today's video, you guys. We love you all so much. Thanks for being so sweet to not only us, our extended family. You yes. guys are just you guys the are best. Incredible. So we love you. We'll see you all tomorrow. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Bye.